So welcome, welcome to the lighthouse uh, for um, a Qigong gathering. Um, this week, if you were not present um, in the live broadcast yesterday, this week we're focusing on the medicine of intuition. Um, and I was speaking about this a little bit in short yesterday and I'll, I'll light upon it here for but a moment before we begin. You know, the, the power of intuition is a power that is not prioritized um, all the time or commonly in, um, in the modern Western world. Um, but as we, as we hone and buff and polish our attention and our awareness around the fact that this is not a time of endings, rather it is a time of most remarkable beginnings. Um, we want to be impulsed by our intellectual um, character and we want to also be guided by our intuitional knowledge and the confidence that that imbues a human being with. Um, so in my view is one of, and in my experience, one of the best ways to develop sensitivity with that is through a somatic-based meditational flow, which is what we're going to dive into today. So if you dissect the word intuition, you will see that it's offering us a lot of direction. So the practitioner is being instructed to go into it to go into it in a way that is going to repattern and recalibrate in so many dimensions and therefore give us a kind of brilliance that is that is really needed for the new world that is um, that is growing through us and around us at absolutely every level. I really encourage you in today's flow to um, practice transparent communication, to listen at the level of um, radical honesty to all of the hieroglyphs of sensation and emotion um, that are moving through you as you embody and express um, the qigong forms and allow um, these hieroglyphs to show you the way to empower you to embolden you to follow the uh, the breadcrumbs of your own soul out of the brambles of any sort of lockdown thought forms that you might be experiencing right now to follow the breadcrumbs of your own intuition out of the brambles and to find yourself in a field of dreams of new possibility of insight of inspiration out of any kind of arrested development and into your crystalline intuitive nature and the last thing I want to say is that you know when we practice like this um, together we are together have have a, a kind of attention that is including the remote bandwidth of everyone here now in this way when we practice in this way it's a non-normative form of developing um, developing experiential sensitivity. And I've been talking a lot over these past few weeks around how this is a time when a new iteration of intelligence is being asked of us. And it's an intelligence that isn't just about book smarts. It's what the Buddhists call hoa, which is the intuitive knowledge. So we are developing experiential sensitivity around awakening that within ourselves as individuals and within this most remarkable community that we are a part of. So feel through all of the many, many contours, have a big container um, that allows you to feel comfortable when it's uncomfortable and to access the beauty and the bliss when it's waving at you and when it's flowing through you. I think that it's very important that right now we show the world how to be revolutionarily joyful in challenging times. So let's, um, let's use these forms to refine our life force, for life force is the key to every expression of prosperity consciousness. Um, let the forms put their powerful structures into 
your somatic self and into your intellectual being as well. So let us begin. Bring your feet to the width of your hips. Relax your shoulders, relax your low ribs in towards the ball of your belly. Relax your buttock bones down towards the back of the heels and just kind of melt into it for but a moment. Inhale wholeheartedly. Feel the breath in the back of the throat, in the back of the kidneys, in the substratum of your pelvic floor, and then exhale into emptiness. <sighs> Collapse through your shoulders and your neck and through your chest and through your belly. And when you're at the peak of your forward fold, it doesn't have to be all the way down, but whatever is all the way for you, orient all 10 fingers towards an imagined meridian and set your gaze softly an infinite gaze, an eternal gaze, looking softly into the void space between the hands. With each increment of uprising, experience a little fractional bit of increased space between the bones of the spine. Come all the way up. When you're at north, climb a little bit higher. Shoulders down, buttock bones down, low ribs in. Now look forward and then open the arms out to the side. Bring your hands to your Dantian, hands here at the Hara. Lift your hands up please to the level of your heart. Orient the palms now to push the chi, to express the energy of metta, of loving kindness, of well-wishing for our world. Express that energy through the palms and through the tips of all 10 fingers. Orient the fingers up, the palms rather, up towards the sky. Lift the arms up to the sky now all the way. See if you can lift your heels a little bit. And bring your hands behind the head, behind the eyes, past the energy. Really be aware of the tendrils of energy that are streaming out of the tips of the fingers. Bring the hands into the front of the face. Now draw your elbows back, push your heart and your hara forward, hang the head back in absolute surrender and trust. Now bring your hands to the kidneys and then slide the hands down across the buttock bones, down the length of the back of the thighs, down the back of the knees, down the back of the calves, all the way to the ankles. And then from here, oscillate your head to the right and to the left. Bring your hands now so that they're in between your ankles and come on up. Good, inhale. Lift the arms up to the level of the heart. Be curious about all of the existential urgings that want to flow through you as you practice. Now push the energy forward. Really move some chi. Feel the inner tremors of transfiguration at the subtlest level inside of your body. You shake the hands just a little bit here. Now orient the palms to the sky. Lift the sky. And bring the hands behind your head. Lift your toes. Lift your abdominal wall up towards the bottom of the diaphragm. Now pull the tendrils around, root energy. Pull the tendrils around the head. And in front of the face, now push the elbows back. Hang the head back, relax the shoulders down. Feel incredible rinsing power in your kidneys, releasing you of any lockdown, fear, thought forms, so that you can be in a state of trust, so that you can embody this koa energy of intuitional wisdom. Bring your hands now, please, to your kidneys. Feel the warm support of the palms of the hands, of the organs, and the low back. Inhale. Now slide the hands down, the buttock bones, down the back of the thighs, down the back of the knees, back of the calves, all the way to the back of the ankles. Bring your hands now to the space in between the ankles and slowly, slowly find your way up. 
have a moment, just right here in a small container. Don't uh, float around the room necessarily, but have a moment of Wu Wei, where you're just unraveling organic innocence, original medicine moving through your body, your human body. Good, and then bring your hands Feel the smile of the heart, the power of a fresh mind. Inhale wholeheartedly, and then relax the hands down alongside the outer thighs. So we're going to take hold of the ball of energy out in front of us, and lift the left hand, and ground the right hand. When the left hand is at the level of the shoulder, rotate that palm to face the sky and then push. And look over the right shoulder in a way that is really getting into all of the contours of the neck, all of the connective tissues. Now rotate both of the hands to face the mid section of the Hara, of the Dantian. Orient your gaze now slowly to look forward. Now, when the right hand hits the level of the shoulder, rotate the palm the other way, and now push the chi, straighten the legs, and look over your left shoulder. Good. Rotate the right palm to face the floor, left palm to face the sky, and bring the energy back through to center. When the left hand is at the level of the shoulder, rotate the palm, and then push. Just keep it really simple. The simple movements can be such a, a great terrain for going deep into the subtlety, into the sensitivity, into the sophistication of what is available. Now, orient the gaze to face forward, left palm to face the ground, right palm to face the sky. Feel the tremor, the shaking of life energy. Keep a soft sense of strength in the ball of the belly. Rotate the right palm now. The other way, push. Left hand to the earth, right hand to the sky. Looking over the center point of the left shoulder. I have a small bend in my knees. Good, now reverse the hands, left hand to the sky, right hand to the earth. Give yourself permission to get out there on the other side of time. Left hand is going to flip.
gonna take a nice wide stance, please, and bring your heels in and your toes out. Watch, I'll demonstrate. We're going to um, pass left and right um, multiple times. This is a little bit more of a dynamic form. Okay, so I'm going to, again, hold the ball. We do this a lot. This is a very worthy form. You may not be able to see my feet, but in this moment, my left foot is right underneath my left knee, and the toes are pointing straight out. And then I'm going to reverse the hands, come through, and then come through. And then I'm going to lead with my right arm. stance here for a moment. So bend your knees and allow the large shell of your pelvic bone to relax in the space here. It will burn. There should be fire. And that's the purification of the tatwas that you're feeling. We want to include every elemental aspect of our embodiment so that we can again um, come out of the brambles. We can come out of our arrested development and be more clear as transmitters, okay? So as superconductors, bring your right hand on top, please. Bend the right knee and look over the right. Now bring your left hand on top, come through center, and then over to the left. Bring the right hand on top, come through center. Remember, it's never about what it looks like always about what it feels like. Left hand on top, come through center. Now, lead with the right arm. Let your head follow the movement of the right arm. And then left arm. Bring your right hand down alongside the hip and the left arm up, down. Now, bring the right arm up, come through to center. arm on top. Lead with the left arm up and over. Left arm is now just draped alongside the side body, alongside the hip. Bring the right arm, I'm sorry, bring the left arm up. Transition. Find the feeling of this midline. Be in the middle. Being in the middle is really important as a meditator, as a practitioner, as an awakening human, to be able to see in between the lines, to read the information between the lines, to read between the information and the disinformation, to read between the disinformation and the disinformation. Be in the middle. Transition. Reverse the hands. Come to the middle. Neutrality. Neutrality. Transition. Reverse the hands. Come to the middle. Transition. Come to the middle. Transition. Now lead with the right arm. Left arm is following. Now the right arm will hang alongside the right side body. Let the left arm get really long from the base of the left big toe up through the nucleus of the left hip joint, through the shoulder, through the elbow, up through the fingertips. Now squeeze the bones in the left leg with the musculature. Lower the left arm down. Bring the right arm up. Come to the middle. Reverse the hands. Come to the middle. The evenly metered flow of breath and movement and awareness. Transition. Reverse the hands. Come to the middle. 
position. Lead with the left arm. Right arm follows. Now find this place. And complete the flow. Let the left arm hang. Find the root point in the base of the right big toe. And then pull the energy up into the inside, the open space within the knee. Pull the energy then up into the nucleus of the right hip joint. Pull the energy up into the nucleus of the right shoulder joint, up into the elbow, and up and out of the fingers. Bring the hands together, come to the middle. This is the last time right here. Straighten the legs, bring your hands to the top of your thighs. Exhale into emptiness, into the boundlessness, into the infinite. Feel the infinite in your finite form. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the middle of the thighs. We're gonna bend the right elbow, lock the left elbow, and come into a twisting horse stance. So I'm letting my left shoulder magnetize towards my right inner knee, and I'm coming back up. Rotate all fingers towards the knees, hang the head back. Bend the left elbow, lock the right elbow. Let the right inner shoulder magnetize towards the left inner knee. Find a little wave power right here. Inhale, come up, hang the head back, surrender. Transparent communication, move the life energy through the terrain of the body. Neutralize the gaze, come to the middle. Bend the right elbow, lock the left elbow, left inner shoulder towards the right inner knee. Twist, come up. Look forward in the middle. Last one. Straighten the legs, step the left leg in, and then the right leg in, and relax. Have a moment of Wu Wei, just going to do a time check. Great, good, we still have more time. So, find your stance, bring your Wu Wei uh, to a close. I don't know where you're practicing at the moment, but in my house at the moment, we had torrential rains and uh, all night long. In fact, our internet was out this morning and I was concerned I wouldn't be able to host us, but here we are. Um, but I, I think it's like 150% humidity in here, which is very purifying. Um, so I hope that you're also feeling the medicine of that humidity, that um, fluid power, and it's helping to purify all, every iteration of water element in your human embodiment. Find your stance, please. And then bring your hands to the outside of the thighs. Draw them up across the outer hips, along the outer ribs, into the eye of the armpit, and all the way up. So this is yin, yang, heron, carries the river. Can you imagine how immense of an experience that would be to carry the river, even if it's but a drop of the river. Now collapse and then rearrange through the form. Let the form embed its structure in the tissues of your body. You know, we're living in a time where there's a lot of collective trauma that's being unpacked and it's living in our fascia and it's living in our nervous system. Yield to the profound boundless, timeless, eternal medicine that are these chi forms. Let it return you to your original organic innocence. Find the heron within your bones. Spread your wings. Collapse. Come up through it. Collapse. 
inhale, 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 inhale. Collapse. Good. Take a stand, please, now on your left foot. The arms will do essentially the same thing, and we'll bring the right big toe up to the inside of the left knee. And then at whatever height is available in your anatomy, take the left leg, for, I'm sorry, the right leg, take it forward, maybe a low, maybe at a midline, maybe a little higher than a midline. I know right about here is kind of my max. Now take the leg out to the side. Feel how sustained you are by something that is not your mind. Now we're gonna take the leg back, be it bend it a little bit, almost kicked over the shoji screen, bend it a little bit, and then take the arms back. Draw the fingertips of both hands so that they're pointing up. Now swim just a little bit through your spine, elongate and extend, expand. Ooh. forward with the left hand on the top and the 
right hand on the bottom, right fingertips to the earth, left fingertips to the sky. Push the chi, draw your shoulder blades down. Hang your head back. Knees are pointing forward, all 10 toes are pointing forward. Access your innate brilliance. Take this closing moment to really feel the landscape of your inner being. To be honestly aware of what is beginning due to what is ending. And then relax the hands if they're not already down alongside your body. Inhale wholeheartedly. Feel the breath in the back of the throat. Feel the breath in the bottom of the heart. Still feeling the same inhalation in the back of the kidneys, in the pelvic floor, and in the arches of your feet. Now exhale into the infinite. Inhale one more wholeheartedly. this incredible portfolio that you now have on integratives.org. This site is for you. Visit it at the freedom of your schedule to enjoy the replays and to really embody these practices that are a part of our community of awakening. Sat Nam.